everybody, Todd Metal at Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So as promised, we're going over the tropics here with a tropical outlook. And interesting thing to make note of here. Been watching this area over the last week. Pretty low chance of development in the short term, but in the long term we've actually picked up recently. This is pretty new here, but now we have a 40% chance of development over the next seven days, and this is going to be heading towards the Antilles here. This may also make a close pass to the Bahamas here. And then after that, where it goes is still kind of uncertain. So anywhere beyond this point off to the west here needs to be watching. So east coast, unfortunately, Florida. I really was reluctant to say that because you guys have had more than enough at this point. I feel bad for you at this point. I'm sorry that everything's happened the way it did. But anywhere off to the west of where this little cone area is needs to be paying extra close attention to this. It's not necessarily a situation where you should be panicking, but definitely something to be watchful of in the days ahead here. Beyond that point, nothing else to really talk about, so that I wouldn't expect a long video here. The reassuring part right now is when we look at Invest94 on satellite, well, I mean, this pretty much says it all. Picture's worth a thousand words. It's not all that impressive. But the environment out ahead of it kind of matters more than anything. And the thing to make note of here is the wind shear is expected to be light over towards this region. Light wind shear is good for tropical development. So as you can see, this little area spin right here is 94L. The uh, ensemble here normally doesn't pick up on rapid strengthening with this, especially when we're looking at the wind shear map. But notice how it goes through this part of the Caribbean, maybe even towards Hispaniola at this point. As we get towards a week out and then after that looks like it even tries to push itself into the strait between the yucatan and the and cuba here which would put it near the gulf so a little bit leery as to what could happen with there with that there but in any case though the possibilities are endless of course this is only one model that we're looking at there's plenty more that could be looked at this is one of the more reliable models i like to look at at least in the long term in the shorter term we change it up just a little bit here but in any case, though, if we were to go ahead and take a look at, ah, oh, crap, 18Z just showed up. But if we were to go ahead and take a look at the moisture content here, the relative humidity, the mid-levels, which is also important for tropical development, I think this is the biggest inhibiting factor in the short term here. And that's why in the next few days here, we would not expect this to develop much. There's still going to be drier working against it, which may keep this weak, but this also could be the key to why this ends up pushing further off to the west here. Once we get further out towards the west, though, and this is what kind of captures my interest more than anything, is the fact that by this point here, this is where it starts getting a more favorable environment and really starts to ramp up here. By the time we get towards the 10-day mark, looking at the GFS operational, though, this does look like it tries to get pulled back out to sea, though. See, like I said... The ensemble shown one thing in the operational run. These are pretty much sister models that we're looking at here, showing different outcomes here. So very large spread here as to where this storm system could go. If we actually go ahead and look at the tracks from all the other models here, this is of course within the one week time frame. You can see that a good number of them have this heading into areas like Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, etc. But as we go further along into that 10 day time frame, we start to kind of fan out a bit here. Again, the Yucatan region over here is a point of interest. Cuba is a point of interest. And then even over towards the Bahamas, we have to watch. And this is, of course, not expected to be a really strong storm at this point right now. But considering the fact that we have ideal conditions over the Atlantic in regards to our temperatures is really what kind of makes me think that we're still in a bit of a wild card situation here waters over here have been relatively untapped we're close to 90 degrees fahrenheit or 30 degrees celsius in regards to the sea surface temperatures here thankfully over towards the gulf it's a little bit cooler with two major hurricanes we got a little bit of that upwelling so those cooler waters are pushing to the surface still this would also be an environment that is still favorable for tropical development so in regards to the intensity forecast well, we're still pretty variable with that. Some of these don't even really have it becoming a tropical storm, maybe even a tropical depression. Others have this becoming a tropical storm heading into maybe even a category two hurricane. There's only one model, thankfully, right now that's pushing this towards major hurricane status and beyond. 
but we'll have to of course watch the trends and see how things go from there. This is only going up to that seven day time frame here. I don't think this is going to develop very quickly. However, we still need to be watchful as we get towards that 84 hour time frame mark and beyond here. This is where we start to really get divided amongst the models here. So as you can see on the bottom left corner of the screen here, you can see the models in motion looking at the system's potential to develop over time. But we're going to go ahead and take that full here. And what you'll notice is over here is where our storm ends up developing. And then we'll watch this kind of spread out a bit. You see some of these already pushed the storm out to sea. Some of these are pushing this, of course, out towards the Bahamas, Hispaniola, and then, of course, even some want to push it towards the Gulf here. Also, still have to watch the Caribbean over here, even though I'm not expecting a high likelihood of development there. It still looks kind of busy over towards the southern parts of it, so I'll have to keep an eye and see on this and see what else might be ahead here. But that being said, that's really all I got for this video. A short tropical outlook, not a whole lot going on outside of this one system, but we will be keeping an eye on it. And if things change, we'll be posting more videos on it from there. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have an awesome rest of your Sunday.